Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach JRTs, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers, Champagne Beverage, and also Benny's Place right here in downtown Hammond. Your lines were on the road in Conway, Arkansas to take on the Central Arkansas Bears. Let's check out the Friday night highlights. Here we go, Friday night at Central Arc. Crucial, crucial Southern Conference weekend. We knew we had to go down there and win the series. And we knew it would be a challenge because Central Arc was 18-2 and two at home on the season, but our guys responded and won the series. I tell you, the Friday night guys were really good. Wind was really high on this night. Friday night guy did a good job, but I was pretty daggum good myself and I drove two tour. Lead off hitter, swings the bat well for them. Ball misplayed in center field. Need to keep that guy a single on that one. I took a tough angle, gave him a double on it. Nice bunt, bunts him over, don't make the play. That's a situation where it's a sure bunt. You gotta do a better job coming up and getting that ball and making that play. Great play, bases loaded, no outs. Jesse Bureau makes a fantastic stop. Tags third base, throws a guy at the plate. Double play, I tell you what, had the base loaded, no outs. That right there could have been the ball game. Did a great job eliminating, not giving any runs on it. It's definitely a pitcher's duel. Friday night, two Friday night guys throwing, and neither one of them really disappointed. Did a great, great job. They get a nice hit right back up the middle. Very patient team at the plate, does a great job. See Andre throwing that fastball right by that hitter. Lad Rhodes gets things going, hits that ball in the six hole, does a great job driving the other way. Lad had a very good weekend, been a tremendous leader for this team this year. I tell you what, done a great, great job. Aaron Hay crushes that ball left field, great job hit. Aaron swung about very well this weekend for us. Hit a home run Saturday, he got a few hits on Friday. Try to bunt him over, Alex Morris. Bunts through that ball, but the ball gets by the catcher, runners advance. That's what you want to see, but that pitcher does a great job, gets Alex a chase. That's where you got to do a better job with no outs, second and third. Got to hit behind the runners, hit the ball the other way. Second, third, and they get set a tall to hit an infield pop up. Good job pitching out of this. Second, third, no outs. We don't get any runs. Great job by that pitcher. Hey, first, second, no outs. Come back, you want to turn that ball. We should have turned that ball. 1-6-3 double play, but instead we throw it to third base and only get one out. We gotta do a better job knowing what to do with the ball before it's hit to us, but we pitched out of it. Great job, but Andre Chutor pitching out of that. High pop-up, Alex Mars makes a great play on it. I'll tell you what, the pitcher did a great job, but he also feels the position very, very well. I'll tell you, this is like a heavyweight battle. These two Friday night guys going at it. Two of the better pitchers in the conference. Jesse Burak catches it off that carpet, off that turf, makes a nice play, throws it over. Pony boy getting a lot of soft contact. See, Sweet Ben coming in. A little hesitation, they beat it out. He's where he got a little something going, left the ball up. Do that against a good hitting team like Central Art, they make you pay. And the guy drove that ball in the right center gap. Got the ball in quick. Guy does a good job and gets a triple. Alex Mars, Alex hit that ball well. Down that line, using his speed, Alex gets a triple out of it. Good job of hitting by Alex. I tell you, that's, that turf is like a slip and slide today. Why it's so wet. Line drive, nice play by Harry Slade in right field. Good job, Andre Chutor gets soft contact. Nice play at second base. Jameson Fisher getting the lines going. A little hit and run, running first base. It's a ball on the ground. Runners at first and second. Here come the lines threatening. Sam Robertson, very good bunt. Bunts the guys over. And Harry Slade, cue ball shot. Good job hitting the ball. Put it in play, middle back. This is a kind of a base on a mistake at third base. Guy going to third base, and then they forgot the outs. Weren't very aggressive at third. That's where you want to be aggressive and hunt that bag, hunt that next plate. They come right back, lead off, hit right up the middle. Andre does a great job, gets on the hands right there, pop up. I tell you, the wind was really high, and every pop up was a challenge. Sam Robertson, ball in the dirt. Guy comes off the bag, but safe at third. Good play. 
Tough play right here, slow roll. Don't quite make the play, throw it away. They get two runs out of it. Took the lead on us. But Andre limits it. Gets a high pop up. We make a nice play right field. Everybody wants that ball going after. On job right at Harry. Harry makes a nice play. Strike three. Pony Boy was really dealing right here. Andre, you can see him. Two outs one at first. Gets to come back or feels a position. Turn over to Dylan Hills, and Dylan Hills was lights out. Really, really good on Friday night. Great job right there by Dylan. Super, super job. And here come the lines. One out, last inning, trailing by two, and Harry Slade. It's a rope right center field. Jesse Burek, back to back hits. Here come the lines. You kind of feel it right then. Game slipping away. They kept their start on the mound. Lad Rose, one out. Crushes that ball right back off the pitcher. Loads the bases with one out. HBP, that was a big at bat. 0 2 count on Aaron Hay. He backs up the curveball, hits Hay for a run, and then boom! He crushes that ball. Josh Watkins comes in for a pinch hit, scores two runs for the Lions. Southeastern takes the lead. First lead of the game, ninth inning. A little hit and run action. Gabe Woods is a slow roller, but they do a great job reading that. And Good job, get out of it. Here we go, last in and Dylan Hills. Absolutely crushes them. Strike out, ground out to second base. Pop up, and we get under it, and just like Coach Riser hits him in pregame, makes the catch. Lions win on Friday night. Great team win for Southeastern. Takes the first game of the series. Southeastern wins four to three. Dylan Hills picks up the win on the mound. Does a great job out of the bullpen. Andre Chatur did a great job starting and some big hits by Slade Beer at N. Rhodes. Great job on the night. Your back was really against the wall. You go into the, the ninth inning of this one, Coach, down three to one. Your team responds for three big runs to really steal a game on Friday night. You guys did a great job. You know, Central Oak lost two games all year at home, and we go in there Friday night, do a great job in that last inning. Guys really produced. Great team effort. Josh Watkins coming off the plate, uh, at the plate off the bench and hits a laser through the shortstop for the game winning hit. Tell you what, I was really proud of the way the guys responded. Coach, that's always been one of the trademarks of your clubs, the fact that they always going to play to the last out, and this was a perfect example. You're on the road, a tough atmosphere, you're down by two runs in the ninth, and you're able to get a huge win on Friday night. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it was big, getting that first win, because it's a series we had to have. Right. If we're going to stay in, in title contention, we needed to win that game, and the guys did a great job getting a W. Well, the Lions would try to continue that momentum on Saturday. Let's check out the Saturday scoreboard. Saturday Lions come out and absolutely start pounding on uh, Central Oak pitchers that day. Really did a great job of getting 14 hits, knocking that starter out early in the ball game. Tate Ceno gets a win for six win on the year. True freshman six win. Jeffrey Enlow gets a loss on the mound. Seven straight seasons with 30 wins. Southeastern 30 and 17. Another one run game on Saturday. Your club uh, had a bigger lead. They whittled it down to seven to six, but your club's able to hold on and you take the series in game two. Typical Southern Conference game. I tell you what, every game is a one run game and guys did a great job responding. We're 14 and two in one run games this year. And it says a lot about the team because you know, we always talk about good teams win those close ball games and these guys are finding ways to win. All right, well, let's go back out to the field and check out the game three action as the Lions would go for the sweep. Here goes zero zero ball, gonna hit a long fly ball to right field. Hits off the wall, looked like it was about two feet foul. Everybody kind of stopped on the play, but the one guy that counts caught it fair, and they get the run out of it, and that's where they got their two runs. Uh, it was a two-to-one ball game. That was two runs right there. Lions come back, two-nothing ball game at the time, and does a great job hitting with a run at third base, driving in Harry Slade. Good job of hitting. Productive out. Great job. Central Arc takes the third game, avoids the sweep, two to one. Southeastern wins two out of three on the road. Another one run game, coach. We, we fall in this one two to one. A very controversial call there in the middle innings as Kayla Manuel was absolutely dominating, took a no hitter into the fifth inning, and, and a controversial fair foul call where they scored two runs and ended up winning two to one. Yeah, it was tough. Caleb did a great, great job. You know, the hitter hits the ball off the wall. The hitter even stopped running because he saw where it landed, but they got the call and it went their way. And, you know, some of those things happen, you just got to overcome it, but their pitcher did a good job. You got to tip your hat to the pitcher, but Caleb, I'll tell you what, did a great job getting a start on Sunday. All right, well, let's talk about a few things that, that happened this weekend. First of all, another 30-win season for your club as your program just uh, 
is that seven in a row now for Lion Baseball, 30 plus wins, and also seven in a row Southland Conference Tournament bids as your team clinched a, a bid in the Southland Conference Tournament, your program just continues to be consistent. Well, you know, we, we want to compete for a championship every year, you know, and it's tough to do, but we're able to do that right now. You know, we're playing this weekend for a conference championship. It's not a lot of teams been, at this time of year still doing that, and that's something I'm proud of our guys. They've been consistent all year long. Winning those close ball games, like I said, we're 14 and two in one-run ball games. It's a sign of a good club. It's a sign of a team that can play defense and pitch, and these guys really compete well. Well, coach, I think that's one thing that jumps out about this weekend is, is your club goes up there. They know they have to to win this series to stay in that Southland Conference Championship hunt. You have three one-run games. Could have easily swept. Could have easily been swept. But you take two out of three. That was huge. It showed the character of your club. It does. You know, they're doing a lot of little things that, that, that don't go into box scores that good teams do to win ball games. And because of that, we're getting on top of those games. When you have 16 one-run games, you win 14. It's not a coincidence. Right. The guy's done a great job. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have a lot more for you right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach J.R.T. presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers, Champagne Beverage, and also Benny's Place right here in downtown Hammond. Stay with us.